Hello everyone, it's Olumayewa Victor Ogunshala from IDPS Consult Netherlands. IDPS means I diagnose and prefer solutions. Uh, today I've got something interesting for all of us. Maybe you are a student studying in any university anywhere in the world. Irrespective of what you study, this video should be very interesting for you. Or perhaps you are an entrepreneur. That is, you own your own business, irrespective of the kind of business that you might be doing, this video should be very useful for you as well. Lastly, are you an industry professional? Irrespective of the sector that you might be working in, this video should also be very interesting for you. This is because we all give and receive feedback at one point or the other. Today, I will be talking about how to give feedback. I'd like to start by saying there are fundamentally two different ways of giving feedback. That is, the first way is that we give feedback as a positive reinforcement, and the second way is that we give feedback in a constructive manner. What does it mean to give feedback as a positive reinforcement? This is when we give feedback to a behavior that we want the recipient to keep doing. For example, we can say, Johnny, that was a very lovely presentation this morning. The clients were happy. We love the creativity about your presentation. Keep it up, Johnny. We all love to receive this kind of feedback. We all love to give this kind of feedback because it produces a positive feeling. Just imagine Johnny will be so motivated yeah, and puts more energy next time when they make a presentation. The other kind of feedback is to give feedback in a constructive manner. This is when we give feedback to a behavior that we want the recipient to improve on. When we give constructive feedback, this is not a negative feedback because if it is a negative feedback, the recipient will be discouraged. To talk about constructive feedback is to give feedback in a thoughtful and elegant manner. This way, the recipient knows exactly the areas that they need to improve on. Then, I know you have a question already. How can we give constructive feedback? I will be giving five tips that we can use to give constructive feedback. Tip number one would be to make sure that our feedback is specific and comes with examples. Yeah? When it is specific, the recipient knows exactly what the feedback is, when the feedback occurred, where the feedback occurred, who was involved in the feedback, and perhaps how they could perform better next time. So if we give a feedback like saying, hello Matthew, I saw that you were very rude to the customer on the shop floor. That feedback is not constructive, yeah? Because you didn't talk about the section or of the shop floor that that happened. You didn't mention the particular customer that was involved. You didn't talk about what time that uh, situation happened. So that's not constructive. Also, you didn't tell Matthew how he could have uh, related with the customer next time. So when we give feedback, if we want it to be constructive, let's make sure our feedback is specific and our feedback comes with examples. The second tip I'd like to give is that when we give feedback here, yeah, we should create an open dialogue. Feedback is a two-way process. It's not an opportunity for you to just get things off your mind. When you give feedback, you are the sender. Of course, there's a recipient. So it's a two-way process. Ask the recipient what they feel about this situation or also what is their own point of view. Yeah? That makes that feedback constructive. The third tip that I would like to give is that we should be honest and tactful when we give feedback. So for example, you are a manager at work and you're giving feedback to an employee of yours or someone who works uh, in your department based on the fact that their performance has not been good enough, huh? don't be nasty about it. Be honest, be tactful, but don't be nasty about it. This is where your emotional intelligence comes in. Such feedback should be given uh, to motivate the recipient. When you give such feedback, you should manage your emotions 
and manage the emotions of the recipient. Tip number four is that when we want to give constructive feedback, we should actually be constructive. You have said what you observed, you have given the actual feedback, now you must ask what is the way forward? What could they do better next time? How can they improve on that feedback? Or how can you help the recipient to improve on that feedback? So ask them, how do you think you can improve on this feedback? How do you think I can help you to improve on this feedback? And then we have the last tip, which is tip number five, listen and do not interrupt. When you talk about your observation, when you give the feedback, give the opportunity to the recipient to speak as well. Listen to them. You do not know what their emotions are at that point in time. So just listen to them and let them give it, let them say it all out as well. Yeah. So pause and then listen to them. I already said earlier that feedback is a two-way process. So those are five tips to give a constructive feedback. Lastly, I also would like to encourage us to give feedback using the sandwich approach. What do I mean by the sandwich approach? To give a constructive feedback, you start with the positives. Then you talk about the areas for improvement. I don't call it negative. I say areas for improvement. Then you end it with a positive remark as well. So positives, areas for improvement, positive as well. So for example, you could say something like, ah, hello, Sarah, we love the energy that you bring to the team. This motivates every one of us. We love your energy. We didn't have this kind of energy until you came here. Thank you for bringing this kind of energy to the team. However, we notice that you are solving the wrong problems. This has happened on two different occasions. We would like you to listen to the customers more, but if it's not clear for you, for, for you, you can get help from your supervising manager and that will help you to give the right solutions to the customers. Again, thank you for the energy that you bring to the team. You motivate all of us. That's giving feedback to Sarah in a positive, by talking about the positive things that you identify, the areas for improvement and backing it, ending it again with the positive things. So that was today's session on how to give feedback. Do you like this video? Please give it a thumbs up on YouTube. Do you like this video or do you think there's something that I could do better? Please make a comment in the comment section on YouTube. I would also like to advise that you subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you get notified anytime we make a new video. We also would like to hear from you. You can visit our website www.ibsconsults.com Send us an email on how we can serve you better. Remember, at IDPS Consult Netherlands, we exist to educate the world and to diagnose business problems from the root causes and provide smart solutions. Thank you very much. As you know, we will not go until we, uh, I talk about my passion. And my passion is that Africa must develop. Therefore, I say, are you an African anywhere in the world? Keep doing everything to promote African unity and keep doing all you can to ensure that Africa must develop. This is the end where I say thank you in English language, thank you well in Dutch language, Yoruba language from Nigeria, West Africa, Esheo. Bye.